Let's explore a couple of ways of making an oblique cut. We will start with a regular cuboid. Let's create a sketch on this face and draw a line that defines one of the edges of the cut. Exit the line tool. Let's go on to define the other two edges. These two lines are on faces that are perpendicular to the current sketch plane. We don't actually need to exit out of the current sketch. Just go to the sketch palette and turn on 3D sketch. Begin the line tool. Snap one end of the line to the existing line. As you hover over this face, notice that it turns a darker shade. This indicates that you are currently sketching on that face. Snap the other end to the edge. Repeat the same process to join the other two points. Confirm the sketch. We will not be able to use any of these three profiles to do a simple extruded cut to achieve the final result. Instead, we need to use a profile that is embedded within the solid. To access this profile, perform a long left click until a window pops up. Hover over the different options and select the appropriate profile. This profile is actually planar as it is formed by three points joined together by straight lines. With the profile selected, press E for extrude and perform an extrude through all. Let's roll back the extrude and unhide the sketch. We shall use the same sketch to try out an alternative method. Make sure that you are in the solid tab. Go to create, loft. Select this profile as the starting profile. For the ending profile, we are actually going to choose a point. If you are not aware, it is possible to loft to a point. Fusion will join all the vertices of the starting profile to this point with straight lines, so there is no need to add rails. Fusion will automatically recognize this as a cut. For the starting profile, you can choose any of the three closed profiles. Just make sure to choose the appropriate point.